it's fulfilling its purpose. It's right. making the uh, minivan bearable. Yes, exactly. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. As you know, I've been trying to find a option out, uh, a cheaper option to being nomadic, and I think tents may be one of them, a, a good one, because they're so much cheaper than just buying, upgrading your car. But will they stand up? Are they are they workable and, and, and viable, especially in the desert, whereas today, even today, we've got a windy day, uh, will they work? So I gave my, this bell tent, to my good friend Candy, and uh, she's you've been in it now for a couple months. Yeah, a bunch of different places in Arizona and now in Nevada. So th uh, through the worst of the desert winter, when we get some bad winds. Right, it's withstood all the winds, all of them. I mean, it doesn't even, <laughs> it doesn't pull up because of stakes, right. which we'll get to. We'll show you, the, yeah. uh, they mm -hmm. don't give you a very good stake. No, 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 no. But the rebar stakes keep it down. It's never even, it looks, you know, cause it's only got that one rigid pole in the, in the middle, which is real easy to set up. And then it's got the rigid pole around the door frame. And you wouldn't think that would be enough, but with the guys uh, that come out, there's 24 stakes you have to put in all and all. So. With all of that, you know, sometimes you'll see it doing this. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll open uh, windows on the bottom so it's not so much wind pressure on the tent and it can just uh, stream through. So uh, it's never, ever once even, I never once thought, like like with my awning on my van, sometimes I have to take it down and it starts ripping and I'm going to lose it. This never. So it's withstood that and, and the rain was uh, sprinkling, then it was pouring in Wickenburg, and it never leaked. If you can last it through wind and rain, that's yeah. about all you can ask. Yeah, yeah. especially when, uh, if you don't want to be stuffed inside, if you're living in a car or living in a small minivan like me, and you don't want to, you know, you're getting claustrophobic, you can, you know, you can stretch out in there, you can do yoga in there, you can set up you can you can put your bed in there and all your clothes and all your kitchen stuff it's it's like a it's like a studio apartment basically right so you're you're actually traveling in uh, and could live in your minivan i could but uh and i planned on it you know but uh this has opened up a d more possibilities so i could actually see myself living in my minivan you know having the minivan for a lot longer as long as i had this alternative you know and how about just the general quality? This is a fairly inexpensive bell tent. Uh, it's a Danschel. Danschel, yeah. 13 foot across uh, uh, bell tent. And the quality's really good because the zippers are made and they're reinforced and reinforced. It's inexpensive. I mean, it's for a canvas tent, it's only about 550 mm -hmm. is what it is currently. Yeah. And it varies, you know, uh -huh. it'll go up and down on Amazon. Uh -huh. We'll put a link down below, but for, uh, for five fifty for a good quality canvas tent, that seems to be working yeah. well. Oh yeah. Are you able to sleep inside it? Yes, even in the wind. I've slept in it when, when it was windy, and you think that the flapping would, and uh, not any more than sleeping in my van and rocking in my van. You know. It's fulfilling its purpose. It's right. making the uh, minivan bearable. Yes, exactly. So I just don't have a lot of room in there, so that's given me the room to breathe plus to stand up straight because you know you're all hunched over and everything and yeah so yeah it's been great well, let's do one thing before we go we'll go inside and take a look around at at your setup mm -hmm. let's take a look at the stakes and this yeah. is something i really strongly recommend you do is replace the stake uh, and let me tell you you're all thinking this is cody and it's not mm -mm. <laughs> this is your dog it is that's pippa <laughs> and pippa looks exactly like cody except a little longer hair Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here comes Cody. He's oh, yeah, he on. saw this. Come on, Cody. Cody, come here, buddy. This will be interesting. They both got their little socks. Come on. Yeah, it's amazing how much they... Come on over here. Oh, he didn't like to be pushed around. Uh -huh. But look, look at these two dogs. Isn't that something? You know, it's an inexpensive tent, and it gives you this really cheap uh, steak, and you really want to 
by some of these big heavy rebar stakes. Yeah. Uh, it makes all the difference. If you, you need a sledge, you need the rebar, and you got to be strong. <laughs> So now we've come inside and it's held up really well inside for you. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just really sturdy. You know, never, you know, the wind makes it shake a little bit, but it's really sturdy. And, and it's breezy now. I mean, it's not a hard wind by any means, but it's nice and breezy. No, I've had it in hard winds though. Yeah. You know, this like, it's pretty, uh, once you get this in, it's pretty stout, you know. If you haven't seen it, we did a, we bought a, uh, a Lux tent, uh -huh. which is nylon, uh -huh. and it has this teeny little flimsy metal, and it bent on the first night or two. Yeah. I mean, just bent, yeah. and it's, uh -huh. it's a throwaway. And two months of full-time use out yeah. here uh -huh. is like a year for most people. Oh, yeah. For two years. Now, the one thing you have kind of disliked about it is on a hot day, it gets kind of warm in here. It's it really warm. And we haven't had really miserable hot days at all. But I think if you put, you could put a USB fan in here, and you could... Have it oscillate and you know attach it to the pole because it's got a ring up there. That's where I put my lantern at nighttime, and uh, the whole thing illuminates. But if you had some air moving around, it wouldn't be so bad. And on on this belt, not on this particular belt tent, but this brand Danshul and many other belt tents will allow you to actually completely drop the whole bottom skirt. Yeah, I saw pictures of it. You uh, unzip it. You you unzip the top here from the bottom. <laughs> And then what you do is it is still held down by the guys, so the tent isn't going anywhere. And then you 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 bring it up and you hook it in these, so it kind of looks like a skirt where all of these. Well, it actually it looks like this one will do it. Yeah, yeah, it will do it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so the whole skirt will drop. Yeah, the whole bottom drops off, and then you there's little there's little. Um, um, Whatever you call them, I can't think of the name right now. Anyway, little whole, tied, little ties. So yeah, so depending, I mean, if you were in a place that had real moderate and mild, whatever, a backyard party or whatever, you know, and you could have it bring it up, so there would be a whole lot more air coming through. Right. You know. Right. But and I you would couldn't have, have it out in bugs because then you would have no. Although yeah. I have seen them with the with the the whole skirt drops and there's a a uh, uh, bug screen underneath. That would it. be good. And how about setting it up? Because tell us about, a little bit about the how it's uh, you set it up. <laughs> well, you have to be strong. You cannot be. It's not for. Uh, it's not for wimps. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say it. You have to have some strength to you because you have to hammer in all of those guys, you know, and then retighten them and you have to have some strength to get the pole in there and put the right English on it and stuff. So I wouldn't. I don't want to put an age on because I'm, you know, 64, so you can do it. But I, uh, if you're not, you know, if you don't have some, what's the word I'm looking for? Oomph. Yeah, you said robust. That's robust right. is a good yeah, word. Yeah, uh, then I wouldn't suggest it unless you have, there's two of you or more. Right. The tent with the, the cheaper stakes uh, that came with it uh, that we replaced with the rebar, but with all of that, it was 65 pounds if it was all in one bag. But um, since I've had it, uh, Bob gave me the the rebar stakes, which has kept it from flying away. Definitely have to get those if you want to get, you know, if you want to buy the tent, because otherwise it won't withstand all this wind. But with the rebar stakes, it's not going anywhere. So what I do is I put the rebar, all the stakes in one little bag, and I put this, you know, the, the poles in a, the bag they came in, and I just put the tent in in the tent bag you know that's enough so that way it, you're you can have to make a couple extra trips but it's going to save your back is the what's if once you broke it all apart mm -hmm. is it about 30 pounds for the canvas itself do you think do you know no i think it's more than that more than that even mm -hmm. for just the canvas i think it's more like uh because uh let's see a jackery 1000 is about 30 pounds and I can carry that with one hand. Now this is more like is more like a bale of hay. Oh, well. So here's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. After two months of being in it, do you want to continue in it? Yes. Okay. Because well, that it was gives a, me freedom. And, you know, I'm not. You know, a minivan is like it is like being in a coffin, sort of. And when when there's bad weather, you're stuck in there, and that can really get really claustrophobic. And this gives you a shield. You know, you're. Uh, is shelter 
So for me, yeah, it's been great. Are you sleeping most nights in the tent? No, I've slept two nights in the tent. And um, mostly because uh, when, when I feel, I just go with my gut. When I'm in an area where I'm feeling it and I feel like it's safe, um, then I don't mind it. But I don't have a killer dog and, you know, I'm, I don't have you know, artillery. So I don't, I don't feel that safe in some spots so I won't sleep in here because well, I can lock myself in there, you know. It's just a woman's intuition, you know. I just kind of feel it. It's the same way I pick my campsites. If I'm not feeling it, I won't do it, you know. Right. Well, that's the best so, way to, yeah. Yeah, it, my gut usually doesn't lie to me. So. Um, but you spend your lounging time out here and uh, cook lounging, out here. cooking, bathing, going to the bathroom. Well, my advice all along is yeah. with a tent, is mm -hmm. that you have a vehicle mm -hmm. you can sleep in. Mm -hmm. And so when there's bad weather uh -huh. and, and you have to drop, but uh -huh. you have never had to drop it because of the wind. Never. And you've been through some really bad yeah. winds. Yeah, and rain. No, I haven't had to drop it at all. That's amazing. That's very unusual. No, because if I did, I don't think I could drop it and pick it up. This isn't really for, a, I wouldn't suggest this tent for a nomad that is on the move every couple of days. Oh, forget about it. So in the tent, you really need to plan on being in a space for a while. I think You're so, two yeah. weeks, ten to yeah. ten days, two yeah. weeks. It's not one of those tents that you shake and they pop up. Yeah. Well, so you're going to take it for the summer, and hopefully next uh, fall we'll yeah. we'll come together and we'll yeah. we'll hear if, how yeah. it worked out for you over the yeah. summer. Yeah, yep, yep. But so far, so good. That's yes. Bottom yeah. line, you're yeah. delighted to have. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over to we're going to go over to New Mexico and then head. I got to head up north, you know. Right. Get so, to work. Yep. Yep. So, folks, the question is, if you're in a car in particular, uh, how will you live if you're just in a car? That's all you can afford. you got a good, reliable car. You can't buy a minivan. Well, you can if you can afford to buy this tent for $550, mm -hmm. and in the bad weather, if you can sleep in the car, because there may be times mm -hmm. when you wouldn't really shouldn't can't sleep out here, mm -hmm. then you can have a high-quality mm -hmm. life out here. Okay, so, so far, so good. The tent, has, it's a good quality for $550 about uh, on sale. I think I, I got it for $500, but it goes up and down. Yeah. It seems like a really good viable solution. It's well made, yeah. and it will hold up for you for a little while, mm -hmm. at least for two months mm -hmm. of continuous use, yeah. and we'll see over time. So hopefully that helps. Yeah. Now, one of the things you might have a problem with in a car is where to put this, because it's a pretty big, bulky space. Right. Well, if you have a car, you may not have room inside. In fact, the odds are really good you won't have room inside. So what you can do instead is get a rack on the back. Or a roof rack. Or a roof rack. Uh, yeah. A roof rack would work really uh -huh. well, and you could just strap yeah. it down, really snug it tight. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and it's canvas bag, so yeah. it yeah. should work. Yeah. So that would, because it's so large, that's going to be your one problem is, mm -hmm. is making it fit. Right. So, Candy, thanks so much for taking the tent and sure. reporting on it. I'm Thank glad it's working well, yeah. so well for you. Thank you. I appreciate Good. it. It's been and, great. Yep. Yeah. And folks, there you have it. This may be an option for some of you. You all have to search your own hearts and see if this is just something physically, if you can do it emotionally, can you be feel safe in a soft sided rig? Those are questions only you can answer. So if you got anything out of this video, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.